All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take some text or pretty much any object and have it follow along a curve. But we're going to do it a little bit differently, and I'll show you uh, how to go about doing this. I'm going to show you both examples, and basically, you decide whichever form you like better. All right, first thing I'm going to do is add a uh, curve and this curve is just going to be a path and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the top side view by pressing 7, then press tab to go into edit mode and if you want to see the arrow marks to show which direction the path goes you can come up here, click on this and then click on normals and then you can see the arrow and if you want to make those bigger you can just go like that to make it bigger that comes in handy I think alright now I'm just going to select this last vertice and I'm just going to make a weird path E for extrude left click to drop, E for extrude, left click to drop and I'm just making a random path just for the fun of it alright and that's about right now I'm going to press tab to exit edit mode and of course you can make this you know go vertical as well if you want to but I'm just gonna leave it like this for simplicity in this tutorial now I'm going to add an object now I'm just gonna add a very simple cube alright now with this cube selected I can shift and then select the curve and then press control P and choose follow path now what this will do is that now if I click play the cube follows the path right nothing fancy about it and you can control how long it takes to follow that path by going to the curve settings while the curve is selected and then this right here the 100 that's how many frames it takes to complete that path so I'm going to put it on 250 and if I click play it goes slower obviously alright now let's do this a little bit differently now let's select a cube and I'm going to press Alt P clear parent and then I'm going to click delete now I'm going to add some text add uh, text and I'm going to rotate this text on the X axis rotate X 90 so it's standing up vertically and I'm going to press tab to edit this text and then I'm just going to put in my channel name B L E N D E R R O O K I E and then press tab to exit edit mode now I can do the same thing with the text with the text select press shift and then select the path and then press control P and choose follow path now if I click play you can see it follows the path but it's it just does does not look good so here's how you go about making this look better go ahead and select your text again I'm gonna press alt P to clear the parent alright now with the ch the text selected I'm gonna come over here to the modifiers tab add modifier and then choose curve now I'm gonna take this little eyedropper and then select the curve with it and now all of a sudden see your text is bending with the curve if I press play nothing happens why does nothing happen that's because now this text can be animated on the x-axis now let me show you what I mean I'm gonna press G for grab X for the x-axis and then just move it the, the uh, text to the right and you can see the text bending and following the curve and of course if you want to animate this all you have to do is just click on item put a keyframe and then at the at the end of the curve or however many frames you want it to take to go to the end to a certain point you can uh, let's say actually let me go to 150 and then I'm gonna grab on the x-axis 
and then make it go to here and then I'm gonna press I at another keyframe and then I'm gonna go to frame 250 and then I'm going to press G for grab X and then move this all the way to the end now if I add another keyframe that means it's gonna go slow between here and here and then it's gonna speed up through the rest of it see what I mean watch this starting off really slow and then speeds up so this could be really handy when it comes to you know making some things I would imagine uh, especially with like motion graphics and stuff like that but anyway if you have any questions about how to go about doing this let me know and I will try to help you in the comments guess that's it later people